BNSFL HLA 842, more commonly known as the ADM turn, is the BNSF local that runs once daily or six times weekly, originating and terminating at BNSF's Hobson Yard in Lincoln, Nebraska. Although they don't have a set schedule, they do tend to leave Lincoln in the morning and return sometime in the afternoon, depending on how long it takes them to work for lunch. Upon departing Lincoln, the train runs west on the BNSF Ravenna subdivision for 25 miles until it gets to Seward, Nebraska. Once there, the train takes the Y northbound onto the Bellwood subdivision. Before we continue, here's a tad bit of information about the Bellwood sub. The BNSF Bellwood subdivision is a 40-mile stretch of single jointed rail track that runs from Seward to the ADM Columbus Point, just south of Columbus, Nebraska. Archer Daniels Midland, or ADM, is a major company that mainly deals with grain and ethanol. Its Columbus hub, or plant, is the one and only customer that the 842 works. Apart from the 842 six times a week, the line sees a few unit oil and unit grain trains running from plants in the southern United States to the ADM Columbus plant. The only other train that uses the Bellwood sub, besides occasional MOW vehicles, is the Nebraska Central Railroad's ADM turn. It hops onto the Bellwood sub at David City or mile 52.5 on the Beltwood. From there, it runs north to ADM and back to David City to continue west to its final destination, Grand Island. More on that in a future video. Now back to the 842. The Bellwood subdivision intersects with the NCRC here at David City at a very cool diamond that works just like a four-way stop. The trains come to a complete stop, then blow the horn twice and proceed on. Although these crossovers are quite common in the U.S., the one here at David City is one of the only diamonds where the trains have to come to a complete stop before proceeding. Anyways, now on to consists. The train usually consists of ADM grain hoppers and oil tanks and can be anywhere from 10 to 40 cars long. It occasionally has a lone center beam, but I'm not sure why. Now as for power, it consists of two units usually, ES44s, SD70 ACEs, or C44-9Ws and may have two to six more in tow to be used as power for southbound trains that ADM will build. Rarely has it had anything besides regular road diesels, but it has had cool leaders such as H1, Fake Bonnets, War Bonnets, Burlington Northern, SD70 Max, and B40-8s. But like I said, and not often, unfortunately. Anyways, that just about sums it up, so sit back and enjoy some more footage of the 842.
big shout out to Owen the Train Man for making this video possible. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.